The main issue affecting house prices in relation to Brexit has really been about uncertainty, and that's our biggest, uh, our biggest problem. Most of the major changes to the position of property in London and the costs of it relate to the tax changes that the government has brought in, which has heavily taxed uh, property. It's also uh, been the issue about house building and supply and demand, and where there's been a limit in supply and sometimes an over-demand in certain types. But uh, on Europe, the main issue is the uncertainty that it's brought and the concern uh, about, uh, about uh, investment in London. But that has always been tempered by the fact that London is a very strong investment bet. And we've seen that in the market. We've seen some resilience in the market as a result of it. So Brexit in and of itself is not a cause for any concern about the property market. But uncertainty is always a drag and has a, a debilitating impact on prices. The impact of people's willingness to live and work in London as a result of Brexit and the obvious concerns that some people have, particularly EU citizens who are resident here, is a major concern about the condition of the London economy. Its overall impact on house prices is not clear and it's not clear how, how strong it is. But obviously within the context of the Brexit negotiations, the rights of EU citizens in Britain and of, Brit of British citizens in Europe is a key factor and of course one would hope that a, a, a less strident and more accommodating view was taken to make sure that we would be able to have uh, arrangements that would satisfy both and would give special terms to both almost as a form of continuation of where we are. Whether or not that's a realistic prospect to expect in the negotiations remains to be seen and the indicators are not as optimistic as some would like but that's the way in which we can make sure we can guarantee a strong base for London and a strong appeal to EU citizens. Uh, the position of foreign investment in London is a very interesting story. We're, we're actually starting to see increasing foreign investment across the United Kingdom, in the South East, in other cities like Manchester and even uh, Liverpool. Uh, factors which haven't really been as strong uh, historically as they are at this moment. And that's because continually and partially because of the drop in the value of sterling, investors still see a major opportunity in holding assets and holding property, both on, a, on an income basis and on an asset basis, uh, that the UK remains very solid and very strong. There is, of course, some areas in London where there's been an oversupply and, and some development, and I would say that areas like Nine Elms are where there is a great risk, and we've seen a real chill in overseas investments in, in those sorts of areas. But the general story of property in the UK is that foreign investment still remains very, very strong and that has been strengthened by sterling.